One plastic bag filled with chips can break down into thousands of microplastics. A recent study shows startling numbers of particles floating right through downtown Tampa, more than 3 billion pieces of plastic every year. In this full circle report, ABC Action News reporter Michael Paluska hit the water and shorelines to see the people fighting to stop pollution. Pretty easy to get dirty doing a story on trash. We we're on the litter skimmer, a ton of stuff was there. And then look here at the water plant. Here's a pool and then of course your usual suspects plastic bottles, and of course, chip bags. Tampa's oldest water plant protects our drinking water by keeping plastic out with a massive screening system. Plastic is always our number one thing. The meandering Hillsborough River is a gem of Tampa Bay. Piercing through downtown, there's no river walk without it, but looks can be deceiving. And our net would be out and we would sample for a couple of hours. For her PhD research at USF, Charlotte Haberstroer spent 18 months on the Hillsborough River collecting plastics. One bag can break down into thousands of tiny little pieces and using sophisticated methods, when Haberstroer extrapolated the data, the number she got was mind blowing. 3.33 billion plastic pieces per year moving out of the Hillsborough River into the bay. Theoretically, with that 3.33 billion number, there could be even more, right? Because there's plastics you could have missed, so it technically it could be higher? It will be much higher if you look at smaller particles. We always try to be conservative in our numbers because I don't want to claim something that's not there. Yeah, so you always lowball it. We lowball it rather than than lying about the results. Over the past year, Tampa's litter skimmer scooped out 26,000 pounds of trash, all of it heading right into the bay, then the gulf and beyond, sadly also into the bellies of marine life. So that turtle swallowed this giant mm -hmm. piece whole. Yep, and we're very lucky that he was able to get it out. Um, had it wadded up in a certain way or even twisted to create kind of like that long skinny, it could have caused a much different outcome for him. Coming up tonight, a deeper look at trash in the bay and the Herculean efforts by volunteers to find and remove ghost traps. In Tampa Bay with photojournalist Reed Moeller, Michael Paluska, ABC Action News.